Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I have some money making opportunities for you guys. Just things you can stockpile now for when the Brimstone update releases in October next month. I just want to go over what I've been farming and stockpiling on and placing buy orders on and go over with you guys. But if your sole purpose right now is just to make money and you don't care about making the heart gym runes right now or any of that and you just want to make money right now, you could uh you could craft these rune stones right here or this corrupted lodestone. You can make 10 of these a day. And you can sell them right now for pretty good profit. Like these are going for 550 on my server and 500 for these. And they'll only go up in price as the update releases. It's up to you if you're, you just want cash now and you're a little low on funds. You can do it this way. But what I like to do is I like to go and I'll place buy orders on these um, craft mods. Like the Iron Guardsmen and the Iron Battle Metals. Because they're pretty low right now. Like you can buy them for pretty cheap. But once the update releases, like this price will go up to 150 or 200 and then that's when I'll sell them. So I'll buy a bunch of bulk and sell them then. And I've seen these prices go up with the with the Void Gauntlet, with the Blunderbuss. Like they will go up because people will craft their armor that they want for the Greatsword. And they're going to be crafting all day once it releases. So these prices will definitely get jacked up once once people start going and crafting. So I recommend getting a bunch of these right now place the on them. And also with these gems right now. What I do is too is like every day when I log on, after I do my dailies, I'll place 10, 10 order for each one of these gems, like 10 carnelians, 10 opals, all of them. I'll place order of 10 and then I'll let them fill. If they don't fill, then the next day I just relist them and, and just start stockpiling on these gems because they're coming out with a new material too called rune glass. They can only get with weapon smithing, I guess. It's just some like upgraded version of these cut pristine gems. So right now they're going for about 62, but I could sell them for about 480 right now if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hold on to them because I think with the rune glass, they're going to be even more. And then also these weapon infused weapon fragments, I would stockpile on those too because to craft the great sword, people are going to want their uh, rune stone stopwatches. And I've been getting a bunch of these too, like these charms right here. Because in my last video, I showed how we're going to be able to craft five perks on our tools. With the engineering crafting station, you're able to craft the 600 gear score tools. And these these are going to be crafted like crazy when it comes out because people are going to want those tools. Because on one of the perks you can get, you're able to get moats through nodes and trees. And by skinning things, just any, any type of uh, thing you're doing with the tool, you're able to get moats from. So these can get crafted like crazy so i just been placing buy orders and buying a bunch of them too if you want to do that you can there's a bunch of money made there too and then i want to show you in the slideshow right here so i created this slideshow right here for you guys that goes over all the material you'll need for the heart gem runes and you can see right here for just one of them you're gonna need 25 rune stones and right here is the material needed for all of them for all the heart gem runes you're gonna need 700 rune stones you're gonna need 250 azoth 15 gypsum 50 emerald, 50 ruby, 50 garnet chipsum. I actually put this twice on accident. And then you're going to need 60 pristine sapphires, 3,000 thorny vines, 15,000 feathers, 3,000 saltpeter, 75 corrupted lodestone, and 75,000 umbral shards. So you could go out if you wanted to and farm this saltpeter and the feathers. They're pretty easy to get. And then just start stockpiling on those and selling them when the update releases. Or you could go out and do daily chest runs too and stockpile on the reagents because those are, will go up in price as people start crafting all this. And then also with those cut pristine gems, um, this is the new material they're releasing in the weaponsmithing. You're going to need your weaponsmithing in 180 if you want to get these. These are just a few of them that I put together. It's not all of them. And uh, I, I pulled this off a new world database. Shout out to them. If you want to go over there and check those out, you can see a list of all of them. There's so many of them, but, but the prices on the gems should go up too because uh, people are going to want these on their armor and their weapons as well. So just place buy orders or you can go out and farm it with um, mining gear and food. It's up to you how you want to do it. I, I personally just like doing the buy orders each day. I'll just go and place uh, 10 buy orders, buy orders on each. So with the release of the Greatsword, there's also a bunch of profit to be made here as well. You're going to want to do your daily cooldowns like your Asmodium, your Glitter Ebony, your Runic Thread. And just do those every day and just start stockpiling them in your um, sheds. Because when this releases, people are going to be crafting these like crazy. And the prices on them are probably going to go up pretty dramatically. So I would, I would wait and just do them every day. Just hold on as many as you can. And then when it releases, then 
put them on trade and sell them for a bunch of money. And with these ones, like, you're going to need Empower Counter Imbalance. I don't know how high in price these might go for, but it might be worth like picking up a few just in case. Because you're able to craft a pretty good great sword with these. Like uh, this one over here, you're able to get Trenchant Crits, which gives you a Gym Slot and Keeling Jagged and Keen. And then you're able to craft this at the weapon smithing station, but you need a level of 183 on it. But people are going to be making these because this is a good PvE one. Same with this one. And uh, I just did all of them so you guys could go over them. Maybe you want to craft one for yourself. And I, I like doing it this way too because you guys could take screenshots of all this and like go over it later if you want to. Or and let me let me know in the comments if you like me doing it this way. Uh, I figure it's a good way to do it to show you guys. So, so yeah, these people are gonna be pumping these out like crazy. So just go over, and get get your daily cooldowns. You know, do your, get your uh, cut pristine gems. Either place bio orders like I've been doing, or you could go out and farm um, platinum for it. Just put your mining gear on and your food. You could also farm these materials up for a good amount of profit. Hold on to them and then sell them once the update releases. Do your daily chest runs for the reagents because those are gonna go up. So there's a tons of money to be made right here. Even with the buyers I showed you, like the, the craft mods, the charms, the skinning charms, the miners charms, all those charms. There's a bunch of money to be made right there. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to go over. Anything new world, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day. Peace.